Welcome to another edition of English Makes No Sense, right here on the YouTube channel of the same name, English Makes No Sense. My name is S.L. Rockfish. You can call me Sarah. Today we're going to do a lesson on telling time. Telling time? I know how to tell time. Do you? Somebody asked me to do a lesson on telling time when I was on a TikTok Live, and they wanted to know how to do it with an analog clock. So let's talk analog. You know, where there's two hands on the clock. This is the face of the clock. And these are the hands of the clock. The clock is like a person. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's tell time on the hour. I'm going to get my pointer here, my little laser. Look at that. Small hand points to the hours. See, this is the hour, 11 o'clock. The big hand points to the minutes. When the big hand is on the 12, we say o'clock. So this clock right here says 11 o'clock. Let me make 11 o'clock on here. I'm gonna, oh, how time flies. Look at that, 11 o'clock. Look on the slide, look right here. The small hand is in the red, that's 11. When the big hand is on the 12, we say o'clock. Got it? Now, this is 11 o'clock. Let me take my pointer. 12 o'clock, whoa, 12 o'clock, and all is well. And then up in the corner over here, five o'clock. Big hand goes, 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 here we go. Time sure flies when you're doing a video. Five o'clock, got it? Awesome. Now, here we go, o'clock. When the small hand is on a number, and the big hand is on the 12, we say it is blank o'clock. Right here, it is one o'clock. See, small hands on the one, big hands on the 12. It is one o'clock, or it's one. It's one, let me get to one. Here we go. It's one o'clock. Perfect, can you say it? It's one o'clock, awesome. Here we go. Big hands on the 12, little hands on the three. It's three o'clock. Or we could just say, it's three. It's three. Excellent, great job. It's three o'clock or it's three. Quick, the little hand goes to the what? Is it the hours or the minutes? Did you say hours? Boom, high five, way to go. 12. The 12 is on, that's the big hand. And when the 12 is, when the big hand is on the 12, we say it's blank o'clock. You are correct. Excellent. Here we go. 10 o'clock. Which one is the, the small hand tells us it's the hour. Yep. And the big hand tells us it's the minutes. And when it's on the 12, it's o'clock. Okay. Okay. All right, now on the half hours, here's we have the small hand. It's on the two, but it's a little past the two and it's almost to the three. It's right in the middle. It's half past two. Here's two, here's three, half way. It's half past two. The big hand's on the six which means it's half past two or it's 2.30. Here's the hour hand, here's the minute hand. And why do we say 30? Because five minutes, 10 minutes, 15, 20, 25, 30. We say it two ways, it's half past two or it's 2.30. Don't worry, we'll have more practice. Here it is, 5.30. It is half past five. You try it. Yeah, it is half past five. You can pause it, come back to it. Okay, did you come back? I hope you did. It's 5.30 and we put the hyphen in there, 5.30 or it's 5.30 with the colon, five colon 30. 
look at the hour hand. It's between the five and the six. So we know it's past five, but it's not quite six. It's half past five. The minute hand is halfway all the way around. So we say it's half past five or 5.30. Got it? Ah, you get it. Quick, look at the time. Roman numerals. Ah, oh no, no worries. Here's the eight. It's 8.30. It is half past eight. Because here the, the hour hand is between the eight and the nine. Okay. And the big hand is on the 30. Why the 30? Again, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 8, 30. You say it. It is half past 8. It is half past 8 written out. Or it's 8, 30. You try it. Go ahead, try it. All right, nice job. What about the quarter hour? An hour, check out my Judy clock. Here it's three o'clock. Hours are cut up into fours, the quarters. 15, 15, 15, 15. <gasps> so this is, it's quarter, let's make it on the two, just like on there. Two o'clock, when the big hand is on the three or the nine, it's a quarter hour. So we got two o'clock, Two fifteen. See this? The hour hand is just a little past the two, so now it's two hours and fifteen minutes. And again, it's from here. Five, ten, fifteen. Two fifteen, or a quarter past two. It's a quarter past two, or two fifteen. See? Because here's the half, quarter, half, three quarters whole. It is a quarter past two or it is, two is, it is 2.15. Not it is, is, get rid of that. Let me take a pen and cross that out. Hmm, I don't know if I can do that. Let's see. I'm going to try. Sorry. I'm going to cross that out. See, even teachers make mistakes. That's editing on the fly, friends. Okay, 2.15 or a quarter past two. Boom. What about when the hand, the big hand is on the nine? There it is, the big hand's on the nine. When the big hand is on the nine, it can be read two, count them two ways. Let me get my little pointer here. First, it is 12.45, because we have 12.15, 12.30, 12.45. We're skip counting by 15. It is 12.45. Or you can say it is a quarter to one. A quarter to one. Boom. We usually use contractions. It's quarter to one or it's 12.45. You practice it. See, it's here's the... It's not on the one, but it's between the 12 and the one. It's a quarter to one. Great. Or it's 1245. Excellent. Okay. You're doing great. Minutes by the hour. This right here, the minute hand is the big one right here on the 11. The hour is on the six, but it's not quite six o'clock. It's five. 55. What? Here's five. This is where it was. So five. I'm going to show you right here. Here goes Judy again. Five. Five oh five. Five ten. See my blue hand right here? Five fifteen. See how that works? Five twenty. 525, we already know this one, 530 or half past 5, 535, 540, 545, you get the picture, 550 and 555. Let's see if my clock matches the clock on the slide, 
Boom! Nailed it! Okay, each number, one, two, three, four, five, represents five minutes. So, from 12 to 1 is five minutes. From 1 to 2 is five minutes. Okay, so 1 times 5 is 5. 5 times 11 is 55. 5, 55. Boom! Got it. So, say the number of the hour first, then the minutes. Here we go. I read, you read. Say it. Here we go. It's 12.05. Your turn. Excellent. It's 12.10. Let me make it happen. Ooh, time's flying again. Here we go. 12.05. Boom. 12.10. Boom. 12.15 or a quarter past 12. 12.20, see what we're doing? 12.20, 12.25, I moved it five minutes to the five, 12.25, 12.30, or half past 12, 12.35, 12.40, got it, you see how it goes, excellent. What time is it? Is it 11 o'clock? 11.55 or 12? Think about it. Say it. Did you say 12? Woohoo! Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Nope, you said 11. You are correct. It's 11 o'clock. Perfect. What time is it? Is it 12? Is it 1? Or is it 1.30? Think about it. Say it loud, say it proud. Did you say 1 o'clock? Woohoo! You're doing great. We're almost done. Two ways to say it. Half past two or 2.30. Excellent. What about the quarter hours? Here's 3.15. 3.15. I'm going to go to 2.15. Whoop, I got to go backwards. Going back in time. 2.15 and 6, 6.45. It looks like it's almost on the 7, but it's not. It's at between the 6 and the 7. 6.45. See? 6.45. Got it. Now, okay, just remember, small hand tells the hour. Big hand tells the minutes. The hour is broken into five minutes increments. So we got five, 10, 15, you know. Okay, each number represents five minutes. So this is 7.05. 7, 10. Five times two is 10. 5, 10, 15. 7, 15, or a quarter past the hour. Okay, when the big hand is on the 12, we say hour. Hour is seven plus o'clock, seven o'clock. When the big hand is on the three, it is a quarter past seven or the quarter past the hour. When it's on the six, it is half past the hour or 6.30 or 7.30. Right here, it's 7.30. Got it. Just a few more reminders, okay. When the big hand is on the nine, it is a quarter to the hour. So right now it is a quarter to four. It's not quite on four, it's a quarter to four. Or it's 45 minutes on to the previous hour. So 3.45. Oh, just like that. That's what 3.45 looks like. See? Let me get my laser. 3.45 right here. 3.45 right here. We'll go over more next time, okay? Tick tock, I hope this helped. I hope this helps you tell time with an analog clock. Thank you so much. Follow me on Instagram at English Makes No Sense. Tick tock at English Makes No Sense. I do have a podcast on Spotify, Apple, Google Podcasts, and Anchor. And it's called 
English makes no sense. Thank you, my friends. Have a great day. Peace. And let me know what you would like to see a video on.